Hello, hello. I am currently up in my room. I'm about to start going through my clothes because it is coming to, I'm saying it's coming to the end of July. So we're working our way into the fall season. It's still going to be very hot in Missouri. So don't get me wrong by saying that, but either which way, everybody's about to start to go, I say everybody, my son's about to start going back to school and um, I'm having like a small hiatus in working for the most part. So um, I just wanna take the time to kind of get our house back in order because if I'm being completely honest with you, it's kind of been abandoned in some ways <laughs> because of it being just like a super busy summer. So I figured while I'm kind of doing that, I will kind of go over and catch you guys up because it's been a while since I've posted anything and that there's a lot to go into all of that. So I'm still sipping on some coffee and I'm about to start going through all of my drawers because it's to that point where most of the stuff that's in my drawers I don't even wear. And I was just like sitting there and I'm like, oh, you know, like I just haven't even, I really, I was gonna say like most of the time whenever that happens, it's usually because I'm like, oh, like I might end up wearing this at this point or that point or whatever. And the reality of the situation is I'm not even at that point right now. <laughs> I literally don't even know what's in my drawers. I know it's in my closet for the most part, but my drawers are kind of just full of stuff that I don't think I even really wear anymore. So going to go through that. So for starters, let me just tell you about this. So we've all been sick with strep throat since the end of June, starting with me. So actually the, um, the people that I sit for ended up, they told us that they had strep. It was just like their mom. And um, she was like, yeah, like I, you know, I just found out I had strep. The kids seem to be fine. I'm like, okay, great, whatever. So the kids are still coming. Well, the following week I ended up getting strep. And so that was like the week of the 4th of July. So um, I like didn't feel good for like that whole entire week. Come July 5th, um, I was like, after, after today, I'm going to the doctor and I'm getting checked out because I feel horrible. And at that point, like it was actually affecting my ear and come to find out I had strep and an ear infection middle ear infection so that actually took so I was on a 10-day antibiotic for both a really strong antibiotic and um so I stopped taking that on a Monday come Wednesday my husband found out that he had strep and so he started an antibiotic on Wednesday and then by Friday I had strep again so after that, um, our son actually is in soccer and on Saturday he goes to soccer's and um, he actually was like being really violent on the field. He was like shoving kids and stuff like that to where like his coach actually like benched him and was like, hey, like let's cool off for a second. And I was like, me and, me and my husband both were like, there's something going on because that's not him. He's not a violent kid, you know. So um, I was like, let's just take the kids. You know, both of us now have had strep. I've had it for the second time now. So I was like, let's just take the kids to the doctor and make sure everything's okay with them. And they both ended up having strep. So now all of us have been on antibiotics for almost an entire month now. I just finished mine yesterday and it is July 30th. So I finished mine on the 29th. Briar is already done with hers because she's so little. She only needed like a seven day antibiotic. And my son is finishing his antibiotic in the next few days. So we'll all be good, <laughs> good at that point. But it has held onto us white knuckled and all. So it's been a little wild. So that is that. But with that also, Henry's in soccer now. And actually, as a matter of fact, today's Tuesday. And he also is in t-ball, which is really exciting. He loves, he loves t-ball. He loves soccer also. Um, but I know he really enjoys t-ball. So I think that that's just been like a really fun change for us. It's nice for us to have like something to go and do as a family and he can get his energy out and it's great. We do eventually want to get Briar into something, but um, she's still kind of little to where, you know, she gets worn out easily anyways, just playing in the yard or whatever. So, um, so that's that. Um, this summer, 
has been extremely busy. I'm like looking at my drawer, I'm like, what do I even get rid of in here? Um, the summer's been extremely busy, if you couldn't tell, because I have hardly posted. And the reality of that is I have five kids running around my house on a Monday through Friday basis. And then when they finally leave, I still have my kids. And then it's like the weekend's here and we just want to go and do stuff as a family and, you know, feel like we don't just work, all work, no play. So, um, finding a time to film this summer has kind of been, it's kind of been a, a tough challenge. Um, but that's okay. We're, we're making it work. Um, I do think I'm going to start probably just doing something a little more, um, like subtle. It's probably not going to be like my normal sit down videos. It's probably going to be more, um, more of like our day-to-day -day life, like weekly vlogging it, that kind of a thing. Because, you know, our kids are getting older and we've got so much stuff going on and it's just like, I, I wanna, you know, have those memories because, you know, the day-to-day -day can feel so mundane, but then, you know, and then all that time goes by and you feel like you missed it all because you feel like nothing really is happening, but really everything's happening. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, so that's that. Um, look at this. This is a t-shirt dress that I bought specifically to go and see the Barbie movie with my friend Ben. And I think I've only ever worn it that one time. And then I haven't worn it ever since. But I think I just got it from like Walmart. Yeah, it was just a Walmart t-shirt dress. I can't decide if I like this color or not. I think it's actually a color that I don't mind on myself. But reality is I don't really ever wear them so that is that so funny story my husband and I actually were planning on going back to Disney we were gonna go back to Disney on August 10th and we were gonna road trip it with the kids um and we ended up deciding not to do that because um it was gonna be another like sudden trip to where we were you know we didn't have a whole lot of time to plan and you know we were just gonna go back and try to like do one last thing as a family one last family vacation before we um you, you know for the summer's done and actually we would have been coming back like a couple days before Henry's supposed to go back to school and I was like maybe we shouldn't be pushing it that hard you know give him time to kind of like react reacclimate to going back to school and you know all that kind of stuff so we decided to go ahead and cancel that um and then you know we'll probably end up going next year as we typically try to do everything this is how you know you're a toddler mom when everything you own has stains on it like yes it could have been for me but it's likely because I have a toddler who's always eating and messy and wants me to hold her 24 7 so, <clears throat> yeah, um, and then on top of the fact that we, we, we canceled Disney um, originally because <clears throat> of everything I just said, but also it's getting more and more apparent to my husband and I, <clears throat> which I say that like it's a new thing. This one's all stained as well. But um, I say it like that's a new thing, but it's getting more and more apparent to my husband and I that we are outgrowing our condo that we live in, um, which, I mean, that's been happening for a really long time. Basically, as soon as we found out that we were pregnant with our daughter, we were like, all right, like, we're getting close to outgrowing this place. Um, but with that, um, we, so we're, we're trying to, We've been looking for a house, basically, is what I'm getting at. So, um, <clears throat> uh, there's like a bunch. So, we live in a condo. I think I've mentioned that in a couple of other videos as well. We live in a condo, which is more like a townhouse. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a basement and a garage. Um, so, <clears throat> but it's really nice and it's in a really good area. It's a really safe neighborhood and all that. So it's one of those things where like all of these, all of them in our area are selling really fast. So as soon as they list, they're selling pretty much almost immediately. And they're selling for quite a bit more than what we actually bought ours for. 
So it's like a really good time for us to sell, but it's a matter of like also finding something that we're interested in. You know how that goes. So um, we've just been kind of in a tough spot as far as that goes, because we're looking and we want to sell, we're ready to sell, but it's also finding what we want and, you know, making sure it's actually what we're wanting and, you know, all that good stuff. And then, you know, like we're, we're always like a little bit nervous, which I'm sure it all works out. And honestly, I'm sure it'll work out just fine. But I'm always a little bit nervous, especially now that we already have like a home, like the trade off of like selling and buying at the same time. It's like, is our house going to sell in time for us to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm just a little bit nervous. Like, is our house going to sell before we find what we want or we're able to move into where we buy or, you know, anything like that. And I'm like, a little bit like concerned look at these i bought the actually i think i got these as a gift a couple years back they are a friend they're like friends pattern pajama pants and i think i've held on to these for years 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 but i don't wear them anymore <laughs> so into the bag they go i'm holding on to these stained shirts like i'm gonna do something with them and i haven't worn them so why would i hold on to them so yeah, so that's been a big thing on our mind recently as well, on top of, you know, all the rest of things going on, is the fact that we are really ready to move. We're ready to move, but we're not going to jump the gun and just buy whatever, you know, we want, we want, we want at least close to being our forever home. This is, will hopefully when we move, whatever we buy will be where we plan to raise our kids and have them you know, go off to college in from that house, I think. But you know, you just never know. <laughs> you never know. So anyway, yeah, look at these. I bought these from Old Navy um, last year, last, or maybe it was like early, early this year, because they were really cheap. I think they were like six bucks a pop or something like that, but they only had them in a size larger than I needed. And I was like, oh, I'll just use a drawstring, but um, they're like really big in places that just really are not comfortable. So, in they go. <laughs> oh, also, I bought this for our Disney trip in March. And I really only got it because it was at Goodwill. Brand new, like literally brand new. But if I'm being honest with myself, I really don't care for the t-shirt itself and probably won't won't really wear it so there it goes let me see if anything else is in here tank tops so anyway um something i've actually been on the hunt for is a new hobby um which kind of sounds weird i guess in a way but the, the reality is, is that I don't have one really. Um, I've made like a thing for me, like I've been um, out, sorry, I'm like looking through my window because I saw like a dog running through the yard, but it, it's actually, there's somebody walking in. So um, I've been on the hunt for a new hobby because I have been taking up like walking, which kind of sounds silly, but um, more so what I mean is I've started walking with like my headphones on in the evening and just like getting out pent up energy and stuff like that. And I feel like it's been really nice. But um, with that, I'm also kind of trying to prepare myself for the cooler weather months, which I love the cooler weather months. Like truly, truly. But here in Missouri, you just never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes we have really warm, mild winters. And then sometimes we have bitterly cold, awful winters. So, um, with that, not being able to go outside and do my walk, cause I really have been enjoying like walking in my neighborhood. I have like a whole route that I walk and, um, I just really have enjoyed that a lot. We do have like a, a gym membership. It's actually like an actual rec center membership. And we, I use that a lot, but, um, I want something that I can do like on a Saturday afternoon, if the weather's bad and we like have to be in the house, I don't wanna, like I wanna have something that I can do that's not just like piddling around the house, cleaning and stuff like that. I enjoy doing those things, but I do that so much that like I need something that's actually like fun for me. 
So I've been on the hunt for something like that. Um, and I'm honestly like, I just am really lost. It's, it's crazy how much you forget about who you were before having kids. Um, maybe that's just me, but I feel like I, <clears throat> I don't even know what I did in my free time, like as my hobby before I had kids. Like, I think I shopped, <laughs> like I loved to clothes shop. I loved doing my makeup and my hair. Like I liked just doing that kind of stuff. Now I'm too lazy to take my makeup off, <laughs> like go through the work of like taking off all my makeup. And then I feel like I'm wasting it if I just like put my makeup on and play with it and then like take it right back off or whatever. That's probably just a me thing. Um, but I just, that just doesn't sound fun to me anymore at this point in my life. Like I put makeup on to leave the house sometimes, but I don't know. I, I don't, I don't feel like that's something that's going to make me feel relaxed and fun. Like I need something more constructive, I feel like. And I know like crocheting is really big right now. And I think that would be fun, but honestly, I'm always a little bit, um, I'm a little bit like afraid of those kinds of things because I feel like you like buy all the materials and then it's like, what if I really don't like it and I am not good at it. And then I bought all this stuff for it. And I don't know. You see what I mean? I'm just crazy. I think, um, I'm working my way down the drawers here. Oh, this is the tank top. Did I throw that out or is it in here? Okay. Yeah. I bought this set. Well, actually last year, which the shorts are actually stained. And they're not really that comfortable anyway. So I'm going to just get rid of them. Um, I bought this set. Oh, here, I guess I could show you. It's like a tank top, crop top situation. Last year, this is the tank top. It's got like the lettuce bottoms. And then the shorts go with it. And they also have like the lettuce trim bottom. And they're really cute and they're really soft and comfortable. But they're actually that material that like pills up really easily. And you know, it's stained. Everything I own is stained. Like literally I'm hiding with my hair. I have stains on this shirt because last, the last time I wore it, I think it was the time that we made spaghetti for dinner. And my daughter, you know, had spaghetti fingers and was needing me, so it stained up. Um, Henry's going back to school. He's gonna be in first grade, which is really crazy. Very crazy, very exciting. And it was like a really bittersweet thing whenever he was done with, kindergarten sadly enough he was actually we dealt with sickness so much like still still dealing with it um but we dealt with sickness so much that he ended up having to miss his last day of kindergarten um which was really upsetting for me I think I was more upset than he was just because you know it's the last day of like his first year of school <sighs> he didn't care so I guess I shouldn't either but um it was just like He's not a kindergartner anymore now. He's a first grader and it's just wild how fast that stuff moves. Sorry, I, I know I'm going up and down. I'm trying to clear out this drawer here. Um, so he's going back to school. We already went and bought his new backpack and his new lunchbox. So that's exciting. Um, we still have like the rest of all of his school supplies to get. Um, but we have three weeks left of school or of summer. So we still have some time to get his school supplies. We still don't even know who his teacher is going to be yet. And I'm chomping at the bit. I've heard that there's going to be a new teacher. So I'm just really excited. He also has a friend across the street that we're also, we're friends with their parents and they're all in soccer together and everything. But I was kind of like, we're both kind of hoping maybe that our kids will be in the same class together. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but very exciting stuff. I'm I'm excited for him. I think he's I think he's excited too. I think he my kid, he just needs he needs school to be honest with you. He likes to be busy and he likes to have his brain working and stuff like that. And we've had kids in and out of the house, as you know, because I've been watching kids. Anyways, going back to school. Um oh, we've been doing stuff with our living room which I don't know how much I shared. Let me close this so I don't wake up Briar. Okay, some time has passed, but I'm back. I was talking about our living room makeover. We've been doing things in our living room. Um, so we've actually painted, we've refinished the floors. Um, we've gotten new furniture and um, 
like one new light fixture. It's still in the works. It's not completed yet um, because it's still, the walls are very bare. Um, but we ended up painting the walls this beautiful white color. It's like a warm white. It was supposed to be, it's the bare version of White Dove by Benjamin Moore. But it's by the Bear brand, Friars Awake now. And uh, so it's this like beautiful warm white color. And we have new sofas that are very wide and just large. They're not like the sectional like we had. Um, and they're this like warm tan beige brown color. Um, but it, I just love them. They're really comfortable and um, they're just large. So like when you're laying on them, it's not like you're gonna like roll right off. Um, they're very like wide. Um, so it's really comfortable. And then we also got some new furniture. So we have like an entryway table now and we have a like new furniture underneath the TV. So it's kind of like an entertainment center, but it's really nice because it has large cabinets in there with shelves. So there's one that I have solely for like Briar's diapers and her clothes and things like that because most of the time whenever we get her changed and dressed and things like that, we're downstairs only because um, that's just where we function out of. Um, we truly don't spend a whole lot of time upstairs. Um, that'll obviously change as she gets a little bigger, but at this time, I'm always afraid of her falling down the stairs somehow. So we don't really spend like a whole lot of time upstairs. So anyways, so there's one of those for her. There's a cabinet for all the kids' toys and books and things like that down in the living room. And then we have one cabinet that's actually like, has been pretty empty since we had it. I, and there's a like set of three so that it looks more like uniformly on the wall underneath the TV. It looks just like, it looks nicer with three. Um, <clears throat> but it's been like fairly empty. And so I think my plan with that is going to be that, um, I want to keep like spare blankets in there but also um when the winter time comes around i think something that i want to plan on doing i don't know i always change my mind on this but something that i was kind of thinking about doing with it is putting like all of our spare gloves and hats and things like that like scarves like whatever we need to like bundle up um to go outside and you know do things because we like to so like here's the thing with missouri also in the winter which i'm talking a lot about like this seasons to come because around this time I'm usually like I'm ready I'm feeling really ready for fall it has been unseasonably hot um this week and like weeks prior so I'm just like really feeling that like cool fall breeze I'm trying to enjoy what's left of the summer but um it's just been very very hot so it's been on my mind, um, but either it's like bitterly cold and we get like torrential snow, ice storms, things like that. We got a lot of that last year. I say a lot of that. There was a couple of them that happened, um, which one was really bad. And I actually share a couple of vi local videos on my like shorts. If you're interested in looking at that from one of the previous ice storms that we had last year was wild. Um, but we get stuff like that to where um, you just need to like bundle up if you're gonna leave the house the wind chill is really crazy um you can get frostbite in like a matter of like five minutes being outside something like that crazy you know so um i don't know that's been on my mind but at this moment i think i'm going to put blankets in there like spare blankets um because we have a lot of throw blankets so anyway that's been my thought process on that. I'll end up showing you guys, I'm sure, if not in this video, probably like a future video to come, like a weekly vlog or something like that. So that, and then the last thing I was gonna say is I have been really itching to get myself a new Bible. Um, so there's a family Bible, which actually has mine and my husband's names. It I was gonna say like embroidered. It's not exactly embroidered, but it's like stamped into the leather backing on our Bible. And we call that our family Bible. Um, and that one's just like super, it's like really nice. It was given to us as a gift as our one year wedding anniversary from my grandparents. Um, and that was just like, it was just like such a great gift. Um, but with that, it's kind of, it's one of those things where, um, it's kind of impersonal. So actually my husband wanted a um, Bible for Christmas. I think this past Christmas, he wanted a Bible with the red lettering um, from like the things that Jesus specifically said. 
And so he got that and that is now his personal Bible. But I have been functioning solely out of our family Bible. But something that I've been itching to do is getting myself a Bible that has large margins for notes. And I want to like get some Bible highlighters so that I can really get in there and make notes and highlight and, you know, make it mine and just really deep dive back into the Bible. Because um, if I'm being honest with you with us being super busy and things like that, by the time that I am done with watching a bunch of kids and then taking care of my kids and doing the dinner thing and making sure that we're getting outside and I'm doing like all the things. By the time that all of that is done, I am frankly honest, I'm just ready to go to bed. <laughs> so um, I'm ready to start prioritizing that again because there is no excuse to not be doing that. Um, but I'm ready to like deep dive back into that with my own Bible and being able to do that because I just, I'm ready for that. That's something that I've been really thinking about a lot um, so, and then I also, you know, I also really want to find, so say find a group of women to do like a Bible study because at this moment we're kind of, um, we haven't been attending our church because there's just been a lot of stuff happening there. And, um, while I'm not exactly like there's been a new pastor assigned at our church that we have yet to like meet and things like that. And we were between pastors for like... I don't know, since Briar's been born, actually before Briar's been born. So I think actually my church, the church that we have attended, that I've attended for years, years and years, um, has been between pastors for since 2020. So basically since COVID started, it kind of like er erupted from COVID. Um, our pastor that was there that we all knew and loved actually ended up going back to Canada where he's originally from him and his family. So since then, um, we've been just like the church has been trying to find a pastor to take over and someone that's going to fit the mission that, you know, our church is trying to accomplish and, you know, all this kind of things. So, um, all that being said, we haven't been attending only because when we were there last, Briar was at an age where, um, she was starting to really like be on the move. And um, we, we were kind of at this point where we weren't really feeling like truly called to that, to our church. Um, also because they were between things and you know, Briar was at this age and there was just a lot going on. So, um, you know, you know how it goes. So that that's kind of been the situation with church. So um, my husband and I have briefly talked about maybe possibly looking around at new churches to find one that better suits our family. Um, that's been something we've kind of thought about. And then also something I've actually really thought about, but I don't really know where to start in our area because we're in a very large area. Like the area that we live in is just very large, lots of churches, lots of like, just lots of that. Um, but I'm really, I really feel like I wouldn't mind finding, hold on, I don't even know what this is right now. Is this a shirt? Oh, it's a romper. I actually bought this romper for the Disney trip, but it was all like rolled up. And I was like, what, what, are, what is this? I don't even know. So anyway, um, I really want to find a small church, a small church um, that could be more personal. Um, our church that I've originally belonged to is has grown quite a lot, like a lot, a lot actually. Um, and it's just probably, it's not like a, I don't know, what's it called? It's not like a, I don't know. It's not a huge, huge church, but it's definitely one of the bigger ones. I feel like in our like, li like small vicinity area where we live, like we're at this moment, we're probably no more than like five minutes up the road from our church. Um, so it's kind of just in the hub of where we live and, um, they always have like big, so, you know, like for Easter and things like that. Like, I feel like a lot of the area, um, people that don't actually typically go to our church or belong to our church, go there for those, 
um, events and things like that, which is always great, but it's just really large. It's just like at those times, it just feels very large. It feels like you see a new face every time you're in there, which is great. Um, but I just kind of feel like maybe I wouldn't mind it being um, going to like a smaller home church where like um, it's easier to get closer to people. I feel like in such a large, vast church, um, it's just kind of hard to like really make connections. Um, but that's just me. And I'm just really working through my thoughts on that right now for whatever reason. So there you go. Okay. Oh, you're kind of sideways. Sorry about that. I'm back up in my bedroom. Um, it's now the next day. I don't know if you're able to tell. Um, I'm going to close my door really fast and turn my fan off so you can hear me better one second. Okay, hopefully that's better. Um, I just laid Briar down for her morning nap. Oops, well backlit. And um, I'm just starting to get my day going. I am up in my room. I, I think I finished going through my dresser last night. I'm going to take one more once over just to make sure I have everything out at this moment that I want to get out. Um, and then I'm going to go back downstairs and start getting things going. It is Wednesday and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier on in the video, but, um, I am taking the rest of the summer, which there's after this week, there will be only two more weeks left of summer to go ahead and make sure that I'm getting our house back in order and getting our kids reacclimated to being at home without other kids being in the home because all those kids are also going back to school. And so I think that I just needed to spend some extra time on our kids and making sure that we're getting our household back in order, all of that. So I've taken the last few days to do very small things around the house, um, like going through my dresser. And I actually, last night after I got done doing my clothes, I actually went into the kids' room and went through some of their toys because we still have a lot of Briar's old baby toys um, in their like toy bins and things like that. So I went through there. Um, I need to finish going through their toys. I ended up getting kind of interrupted because the kids wanted to go back downstairs. Ooh. okay and so anyway I actually last night so I I've my eyebrows look really crazy right now don't pay attention to that but I got a lash perming kit and like brow laminating kit so if my eyebrows look weird just don't don't pay attention to that but I also got a um lash and brow tinting kit and so I tinted my my eyebrows I tinted a couple days ago, which they look really crazy right now because I haven't done anything with them yet. But I also tinted my lashes last night. And um, not too bad. And I, I so I, lamp, I permed them. I don't know if you'd call that, but it's supposed to like permanently curl them. And I spent like 20 bucks on that kit on Amazon. And it actually works pretty okay. So... I'm just looking at that right now. So anyways, um, that is the deal as of right now. I think I need to get my butt in gear today and try to get some other things chipped away at, at our home while I have the chance. I'm also currently wearing my Walt Disney World sweatshirt. It's actually, so there's a, let me turn you around. There we go. There's actually a heat advisory today, which is a whole thing on its own it's very very hot this week um my poor husband he works i'm gonna readjust y'all here my poor husband works he works in the street department so he's like out in this heat all the time but today he texted me and he was like i'm in an ac truck all day and i was like awesome <clears throat> very hot today it's very very hot here but with that our ac is just like really working and i like want to i'd rather it be cooler in here than obviously hot so I was feeling a sweatshirt this morning, basically long story short, but I'm sure as I get moving, as the day goes on, I will warm up and I will want to take the sweatshirt off. I'm talking a whole lot right now, but basically that's the situation. I was going to try and 
um, make my bed. Say, I said try. I was gonna make my bed, but the reality is I think I need to wash my sheets and all of that, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. Probably just gonna go ahead and head downstairs. I need to eat some breakfast and um, and then get going. But I've had two cups of coffee, can you tell? <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's head downstairs. The other day I was feeling stressed. And does anybody else stress clean or stress organize? Um, now that the kids are gonna be done coming here for the rest of the summer, I we use this space heavily. Like that's all of our decor. Like basically in this condo, the only amount of storage that we have is under the stairs and then whatever hall closets we have. So all of our holiday decorations all goes underneath the stairwell. And so um, this is basically where we keep like anything that we have to store that doesn't need to be sitting out. So I had a rolling cart over the summer, which I went over a video of all the things that I got to prepare for the summer with five children. And I had a rolling cart that had like a box of Play-Doh stuff and it had a box of coloring things. And then it had, I don't know, various other smaller activities on it. And I actually had it here. As the summer had gone on though, like I said, this is our only form of storage. So it was just getting crazy in here. So as soon as I decided that, you know, I need to get our house back in order before school starts, I first thing went through the rolling cart and got rid of all the just junk and just tidied it up in here. And it has never looked better if I'm being honest with you. Obviously it's not like super completely organized, but I had to do it how it would work best for our family. So like this is where we keep our dog's dog food. And so this is where we keep all of her treats and all of her things. And then here's like obviously what doesn't fit in our cabinets or whatever. And then, you know, everything else that we might need. That down there is kind of like party decorations and small Easter stuff, just whatever cans and cookbooks we've got chicken broth and some boxed soup there miscellaneous boxes of rice bags of rice got pastas here there's some taco shells soft taco shells have all of our onions and potatoes spices we have this that has like run over spices and just like miscellaneous things um, like dip mixes, um, cooking oils and salt and pepper. I think I also have some pesto jars back here, some snack type things, nuts, dried fruits, like dates in, I think we have, what is that? Apricots, oats and things like that. Oh, there's a box of, um, cheddar cheese biscuits and then all of our like baking things which i also have a bag of leftover coffee but our kodiak cake mix and then all of our baking things and then up here i have to keep all of our like snacky foods up here because our son will just get into the pantry and just go at it so i had to put it up where he hopefully cannot reach it as well and then this is a tea set that my grandparents got us for Christmas last year. Um, this is my son's kinetic sand. And then some of these, this is all like trucks and things that he hasn't played with in a while. But I didn't want to get rid of them because sometimes he's like, do you know where any of my trucks are? And so that's that. And then he also has a mystery crystal box here, which is like a project for, I don't know, sometime. And then <laughs> this is all... Um, gift bags. I keep all of our gift bags or gift bags that we that we get because, you know, you can always reuse some things. And then leftover cleaning supplies. I'm holding on to our daughter's um, pack and play because I am afraid that we're going to go out of town and we're going to need it. And if we don't have it, you know, that's kind of the situation. This is my travel on backpack that I bought years ago. And I thought I was keeping something in here, but it seems to be empty now. Oops, things are quaking down. This is stuff, so actually this, this sign was given to me on my 21st birthday, and my mom actually wrote this sign out, and I've never wiped it off. <clears throat> and then this is the sign that I used for Henry's first day of kindergarten, 
And so I just replaced first with last and then took, a, you know, and then replaced the date. So we could take, you know, before and after pictures basically. But that's just what I have. But it all is functioning. There's actually, back here is just complete chaos. Don't ask me about that. But um, for the most part, I've tried to keep it all organized. Um, but every single year we get more and more decorations. And I always buy these cookie gift bag box things, whatever you want to call them, gift boxes. And then, you know, over the summer, I always get more decorations because gross, because I go to garage sales. And so then I just kind of like stack whatever I buy up on top. I don't know. It's chaos. My thing here is trying to give me a hard time. Oh, and my husband measured Henry on this date and put a mark there. Um, we'll have to probably paint over that, obviously, whenever we go to move. But there you go. Yeah, and then we have grocery bags there, reusable bags, our Swiffer pads, tools, and sander, and all that kind of stuff. And then whatever, paint. I don't know. And I have a rundown of what we have going on in here. <clears throat> Anyways, this is a complete disaster. This is where I really need to start working on. Um, but my point of saying all that is I actually went through our pantry, as I had mentioned, and I found this, which I didn't even realize was in there, which it's like a casserole dish with a cover. And I didn't even realize that I had it put in there. So I want to put that down below because we're getting to that time of the year when we're going to start making casseroles and having family, you know, dinners or whatever. And we're going to need to have that. And then also, these are all of our, obviously, our Christmas cookie cutters. I think I found these in a bag that I had put together, um, and it had, like, Play-Doh in it. So I assume I was letting Henry use this, use them with Play-Doh. So I went ahead and washed them all up. I'm going to put them in a bag of their own and then put them back with the baking stuff. That way they're ready for us come Christmas because it is coming. It is coming. Anywho's um i need to eat <laughs> and then get rid of all this craziness Ugh, it's a mess don't even don't even look my ac is running and i'm right by the laundry room which is where it's at so if it's hard to hear me i'm really sorry i'm trying my best um something that i've been doing recently which i kind of briefly talked about in my i think it was my favorites video is that I have been walking, <clears throat> so I actually have been doing it to help combat like stress, especially this summer with having five kids running around my house. And sometimes it's just nice to get up that like pent out energy and things like that. And so, um, so that's been something I've been doing. Well, I, while I was sick, didn't do that because as I kind of mentioned, I think briefly, uh, while I was sick with strep, I got an upper respiratory infection and it was like really hard on me actually. It was a lot harder on me than um, I was expecting it to be. Like I kind of was just chalking it up to being from drainage and um, from my ear and like all these other things. And in reality, it was brutal. And I partially, I was, whenever I went to um, the urgent care the second time around, they were like, how long have you had this going on? And, you know, they ask you all the questions and things like that. And I told them and they tested me for COVID and they were like, COVID's really high right now. There's, it's up 30% this summer and you know, yada, yada. And so they tested me, but it came back negative. And you know, there's a ton of other upper respiratory infections out there. I think I've had like a ton of them over the winter um so anyway with all that being said i stopped walking for i don't know basically about that month as soon as i started feeling sick obviously i stopped walking because i just didn't have the extra energy um and it's kind of been that way and actually speaking of energy i started taking b12 to kind of help re-sustain myself. I don't know if that's the right way of saying that, but um, I just feel like it wiped out my energy so hard and intensely 
that I was just really struggling getting back to my normal energy. <clears throat> like the normal amount of energy that I typically have, it just wiped me out from having so much back to back and you know, all that. It was just hard on me. Also, I'm cleaning off my trash lid if you're wondering what I'm doing. I should have said that. We actually got a new trash can um, last weekend, I think, because our other trash can was just got like really nasty really quickly. And we, we actually, I say really quickly, we've had that trash can for probably a good five or six years. And um, it just got, it was just really gross. And we don't have a hose here. Add that to another one of, like add that to the list of things that we are <laughs> ready to move for. Um, we have like a bunch of plants out back. Like we all, every single year we spend a ton of money on plants and things like that to make our back patio, you know, nice and enjoyable and um it, but it's just really hard to water them so it's also very hard to clean out your trash can when you don't have a hose that you can kind of just hose it out with you know especially whenever it gets really bad and we have kids come in and go in and you know throwing stuff in there and you know sometimes the trash bag falls in so then the food gets behind the trash bag and you don't know it and then it's really bad and it's just nice to be able to hose it out we haven't had that luxury <laughs> so we just grabbed the whole trash can and spent, I literally got an $18 trash can because of that exact reason um, until we're able to move and have, you know, what we need to properly clean a trash can. So that's a really long explanation for all of that. But what I was getting back to, ADD, hello, um, is that I just haven't had any energy. So I've started doing that again and it's been feeling so nice. It's really been feeling so nice. Um, it really helps me with my stress levels. Um, just, you know, get up that energy. I've always been a pretty active person. Um, like before having children and things like that, I've always liked to go out and I always had a gym membership, always able to go to the gym and as a mother, um, personally in my motherhood journey, it's been kind of hard for me to get away from the kids. Briar is very attached, um, very attached to me and Henry was the same way. And so when, you know, it's kind of hard for me to like really get away that much, but walking, especially in my neighborhood, um, because that's really all I do is walk in our neighborhood at this moment. <clears throat> and um, it's just really nice. It's really it's been really great for me and I like I like it's funny because I don't I don't really love being like super hot and sweaty right but um, whenever I go on these walks outside it's almost like I I can handle it better because I'm prepared to get hot and sweaty Does anybody else like that or know what I'm talking about it's like it doesn't bother me because like that's the goal basically um, so that's that all right I think it's fairly sanitized. I'm just using a sanitizing wipe to clean it. Our dog, she's such a pain. We have a German Shepherd, which if you followed my channel, I'm sure you know that. Um, she is kind of a stinker. And if she's mad at us for leaving to go do, you know, whatever, she'll get into our trash can. So she has figured out how to pop the lid off of our trash can. <clears throat> and get into the trash, which actually she did that the other day. And when she was, when she was doing that, um, she ate. So we went over to my grandparents' house. They had us over a couple days ago over the weekend. And um, she got into, they, they, they made, if I could figure out my words, they made hot dogs and burgers and they had to go back out of town. They live out of town. And so they were like, you guys just take them home. You guys can eat on them or whatever. Well, it was late by the time that we got home. So whenever we come home, it's kind of like, hurry up and get the kids prepared for bed. And I had medicine to distribute the past few days because, you know, we're all trying to get over this strep and, you know, whatever. So basically, long story short, we left the food out on the kitchen table, not thinking about it. And so, um... I was like, oh, it's bad. And so I just set it inside the trash, just not thinking about it. 
well with me not thinking about it we had a birthday party to go to the next day so my so like literally the day that i put it in the trash um it was my grandfather's birthday so we went out to dinner with them and then went back to their house and swam and you know just hung out for the night so when we came back she had gotten into the trash ate both the bag of hot dogs and burgers and then she was trying to get into the potato salad and beans that they sent us home with but luckily those were in like disposable tupperwares so she wasn't able to get into those, but she tore into both of like the Ziploc bags of hot dogs and burgers. Well, she, can you hear Henry? He's got the same upper respiratory thing that I was having. Um, she basically has had like the runs all day yesterday. And so it's just been chaos basically. It's been a little bit chaotic. Not to complain. We're doing just fine, but it, that was definitely a thing yesterday crazy so anyways walking has been great for me <laughs> long story short there um i'm gonna get the handle a little bit better here but um yeah so that's that's basically that something else that i've been so i mentioned yesterday that i'm always really looking forward to like the season coming and that's like always, that's all the time. So I'm always looking forward to whatever season is coming up next. So in the winter, I'm always looking forward to the spring, which I think everybody gets that way in the winter. Um, and then, you know, whenever it's spring, I'm ready for summer and swimming in pools and, you know, doing all of that. And then, you know, the, the list goes on. Well, on Pinterest, I have been finding books that I really want to get into. So I'm really trying to make it to where I can kind of really enjoy. I think I mentioned that I want to like find a really good hobby for myself this year. That's been something that I've been trying to find for myself because it's been hard. And um, I got into a, a really good book last year and I really enjoyed it. And, but ever since then, you know, life happened and I, for, I forget that I like to read. So um, I have been on Pinterest and, you know, Pinterest like pretty much knows how to read your mind basically, you know what I'm saying? And, um, they were showing me all these like really cool looking fall books. Um, I'll try to, I'm trying to see if I can find them and what they're called, but there's one that's called like the pumpkin spice bookshop or something like that, or cafe, pumpkin spice cafe, something like that. And it just keeps popping it up to me. And basically, if it's not gonna be like super sad or um, basically like super duper intense, but it's still like a good story, that's that's right up my alley. Um, if it's got like the fall vibes, like I'm very much like a Gilmore Girls kind of fall vibe girl. And you know, like Halloween Town and the classics, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm really hoping I can find some really good books this season and kind of just like really enjoy that. Especially whenever Henry goes back to school. I'm, I want to try to get back into the things that I enjoy. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so that's something on my mind. Um, I'm gonna finish up with my trash can and then I'll get back to you in just a moment. You know what's funny about being a parent? is that you never know what you're gonna expect in anywhere that you look because I just got into our like tea and like liquid IV drawer and I found my external battery for my phone. <laughs> it's like, why is that in there? Um, anyways, I am making myself <clears throat> a liquid IV. Something I've been really enjoying having in the mornings after having my coffee is a liquid IV, which actually sometimes it's before my coffee and sometimes it's after, but I always drink a little bit of water before I have my coffee, either which way. Um, but my favorite recently has been the white peach, which my husband might have taken the last one, it looks like, which is fine. Um, but I like that it's sugar-free. To be honest with you, I'm not like super huge on the lemon lime, it's okay. I mean, it, it gets the job done. It's the sugar-free kind. The other one that I really have been enjoying, which is kind of more of a treat, which I don't like to have 
early in the morning. I think right now it's like, yeah, it's nine o'clock right now. A little too early for me to have that, but the firecracker, I talked about this in my, I think it's May, June favorites. Love this flavor, it's so good. Um, it says it's cherry, lemon, lime, and raspberry. It's great. It tastes very much like the firecracker, which they actually sell a pack like this at Costco of the firecracker one. So if you really like it, get it there because it's a lot more bang for your buck. Um, I'm just making myself one of these in a large mason jar to kind of sip on as I'm moving around the house just because it makes me feel good. I think I'm going to just go ahead and do the lemon lime. Let me make sure there's no more white peach. It's my favorite. But I know it's also my husband's favorite. So um, it doesn't surprise me that they are gone. But something that my husband and I have truly been investing in this year is liquid IV. For one, he works outside in the really hot heat, so he needs it. Um, but I just really feel like it really helps my dog's barking because I put her outside. She needed to go potty. Um, but it really helps. I just feel like it helps me feel more sustained throughout the days, which is always something that I need. But I really like the sugar-free ones. Um, I just think they're really, really good. And it makes you really notice how much the other, like, not sugar-free ones are, like, kind of sugary but you know like I said it's not it's not dire let me let the dog in really quick okay I think I'm gonna put some ice in this just because the water wasn't all that cold so my husband said the real feel for today is like a hundred and six or something crazy like that we're under an excessive heat warning until tomorrow evening. Um, which actually yesterday, a storm rolled in in the evening or the afternoon, evening hours, and really helped cool it off. I was able to go on that walk and I really didn't get all that hot. I definitely have been hotter in past days. It's nice. Also, since I've got you here, how do we feel about the chattier vlogs where I'm kind of just doing stuff around the house but we're kind of like chit chatting? I really like watching those types of videos from other YouTubers, so I figured I would give it a go. And um, the reality is, this is just the life that I live, so. Yeah, it's gonna get the job done, so here we go. The little one's really not bad though. It's just, I think I just prefer the peach over the lemon lime. Yeah. All right. I'll put the rest of them in here. I need to reorganize this drawer. I'm being honest with you, but I'm pretty sure there's spilled honey in here. And again, thank you, children. Maybe I'll just do that while I'm here doing this. I'll let you see what I'm doing. And we can still chat, hopefully. Huh. There we go. This is my, my drawer. I don't know how well you can see. Let me, turn, let me show you really quick here. So this is what the drawer looks like. Everything is just a mess. We have all of our Ziplocs in here, tea. My daughter got into all of our teas apparently and just pulled them all out. Um, but then it looks like we've got like parchment or wax paper, which is covering the honey that was spilled. So it's just a, a, a mess. I'm going to just really just tidy it up and clean it up. But also my liquid IVs need to go inside there. So holding the views. Hopefully it's not going to be too bothersome. Something else I keep in there is this pumpkin spice. Can you see it? Let's see here. It's not working, is it? There we go. Pumpkin pie spice. It's all backwards, obviously. Um, but I put this, I've been making homemade oatmeal for my daughter since she was like little. Which I, when I say oh, homemade, it's not actually like homemade. Let me put my eyes away. <laughs> So when I say homemade, I basically just mean 
Um, I use like quick oats and organic applesauce. I say organic, it's just like unsweetened applesauce and some pumpkin pie spice and a little bit of milk and I just mix it all up and microwave it and she loves it. And actually so does my son. Um, and it's not full of all that added junk that the yeah, box or like little baggy ones have. things away so I don't even know what all is in here I had the celestial chamomile tea the bigelow green tea and then I got this one on a whim it's a cleanse tea um it's just an herbal tea but it it tastes like black licorice if I'm being honest but it's not like really nasty it smells worse than it actually tastes it actually has a very natural um sweet flavor to it which is really nice <clears throat> on those days where you just kind of want something subtle and it's good for your gut which is really the idea behind me buying it was to have some good gut health tea um so that's been really nice there's also honey vanilla chamomile in here Ran wrap. I don't know what this one is. I think this is. I think this is my cinnamon apple spice tea, which is an all time favorite for the fall. I love this tea. It's just really tasty with a little bit of honey. Delicious. Um, I'm going to throw the ones that have honey on them out. They're not nasty, sticky. Oh, another hit is this cinnamon, Hot Cinnamon Sunset by Harney and Sons. Ooh, delicious. I actually found one. See, this is my external battery I was talking about. They put a Mickey sticker on there, but it's really, I actually think I got this from Prime Low like years and years ago, but I held on to it because it actually like works. Old hot chocolate packets in here. Oh boy. Here's the box for all of my green tea. Put that back in just a minute. These things. Got a ton of these. I didn't even know it. Aluminum foil. Sleepy time tea. This one. I don't even know what's in it. Chamomile, spearmint, lemongrass, Tilia flower, blackberry leaves, orange blossom, and hawthorn and rosebud. I've never had the sleepy time tea, but I know a lot of people say it's amazing. Oh my goodness. Here's our toothpicks. Almond extract. That needs to go with my baking things. More hot chocolate mix. We honestly aren't big hot chocolate drinkers. Um, but we are big bakery eaters. So during the holiday season, I will like bake all season long and we just have like constant stuff around to eat on. So that's probably why. Cupcake, whatever's. Oh, I also have, this is kind of funny, but I have this um, floss in here because I will soak it in water and rinse it off and then I will use it to cut my cinnamon rolls because I will make cinnamon rolls during the holiday season and I you have to cut them so I use floss so I guess I've just left it in here and then at the very back I have all of our pumpkin carving things I'm gonna put that in the bag itself parchment that's stuck to honey. So I'm gonna wipe this out with a Clorox wipe here. <clears throat> this view is probably very strange. Probably not the best angle to have you at, but working with what I've got here. 
I meant to bring my ring light down and totally forgot. Probably would have provided a better view. in there. Okay, so it actually looks a ton better now. Um, I put the sandwich baggies here, the um, saran wrap and aluminum foil, our liquid IVs are here, muffin liners, loose teas, the gallon sized bags, the tea boxes and the Harney and Sons and then our toothpicks I've always kept in here. So it actually looks a lot better um, although I'm not super fond of the way that that's folding over like that. I could just put them in a baggie I guess of their own but I don't want to waste a sandwich baggie on that. So, um, I, I feel a lot better about that, actually. And, you know, I was thinking, I have this drawer down here, which is kind of broken, which is partially why we don't use it. This is the only thing in here. But um, I could put, like, these down here. But the only fear with that is that my daughter likes to go through drawers, which I don't think she really messes with this drawer. And they're now in a bag. Um, maybe I'll just put them at the very back and just try to remember that I have them in here. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm just going to move these back into the pantry. And I guess I could keep this in there. But there's that. This is what I was using as a makeshift stand. <laughs> okay, I have you propped up in a very strange position. Oh words are hard in a very strange position because I'm going to show you what I'm going to be making I have my crock pot here um, I'm just going to be doing a quick and easy crock pot meal but I made this a couple weeks back and it was great I am going to be adding like a few extra things just to simplify it a little bit more um, because I just like it that way so I'll show you give me one second can you see all right so I just have a pack of chicken breasts. I'm just gonna plop them down in there, basically after minimal effort with this meal. So I am going to just add some salt and pepper straight on top of this. Just as a base. And then I'm gonna add in a can of cream of chicken. This is just the Aldi brand. just to make things easy. I did this um, with a separate, like a different type of meal a um, couple weeks back too. It was a different recipe, but whatever. Um, and it made the chicken very tender and actually like pull apart, like, which I liked. <clears throat> and it would go great with this meal as well. So might as well try it. I'm just gonna get a spoon for that. So I can just properly smear it along and be done with it. Probably don't even necessarily need to do this, but whatever. Okay. Now I'm going to just refine them. I bought a bag 
of, let me see if I can pull you up so I can show you, a bag of snipped green beans. I'm just gonna throw that in on top of this. I can open the bag here. And then I have some baby potatoes that I need to use before they go bad. So I am going to grab those and throw those in too. Okay, now I have all the potatoes on there. I was only able to use the yellow ones out of that bag because the red ones were starting to get those little spurs or whatever they're called. Um, which is fine because there's plenty of those. And then I'm going to add in what is left. I used half of this for this recipe. I don't, sorry, it's really bad, the angle here. It's garlic Parmesan or Parmesan garlic by Buffalo Wild Wings. It's so good, um, but it's great for this recipe. And I used, I got the bigger bottle, if you can tell, um, and I used half of it. The last time I made this recipe, let me pull it out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. It's probably the angle I should have been using. Um, but I used half of it for the same recipe a couple weeks back and it was amazing. It just, the flavor is just awesome. So I'm just going to dump this all on top here for the flavor and then it'll be good to go. And then I'm going to put it on high for four hours. Um, and just let it go. Last time I made this, I actually put the green or the potatoes down first and then the green beans. And then I think I did, um, what is it? I think I did the chicken on top so that the juices from the chicken would add extra flavor to the rest of the vegetables. But this time, um, I wanted to do it a little bit different. because I think, I think it'll still be good. And the green beans were a little bit crunchy and tough last time. So I'm hoping having the, the cream of chicken down below with the chicken and then this sauce up top, it'll give extra moisture to the green beans. So that's the hope. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this to try to loosen up what's left in here because there's quite a bit but it doesn't wanna come out and um, dump it on top. Okay, so I did add some water to this as well because I really want to make sure I get as much of this garlic farm out as possible because it is the flavor. I've seen this recipe or something very similar to this recipe a lot on Pinterest. Um, so if you want to use, like if you want to do less calories, the way I've seen people do this is every, all the same ingredients basically. Um, so chicken, green beans, and little baby potatoes. And then instead of adding in the cream of chicken or the garlic Parmesan, they just added in a packet of the onion soup mix. And um, I've heard really good things about that as well. So that would be a lot less calories, I feel like. I'm gonna add some more water. But I know that my family and I really enjoy this garlic Parmesan on here. And um, I, I just already know that that's a hit for us. But like I said, I've never done it with a cream of chicken. So I'll have to let you know how I feel about that. But hopefully it'll still be good. All right. There we go. That's all I'm gonna get out of the bottle, looks like. <clears throat> Okie dokie. All right, so now I'm just gonna add the lid and put it on for four hours 
and I will give you an update when it is done. Okay, hello and good morning. It is now, um, is it Thursday? It's Thursday, it's actually August 1st, which is so wild. Um, <clears throat> I'm currently having my liquid IV. I ended up doing my bomb pop one today because I was getting tired of the lemon life. <laughs> um, I do have kind of a worse voice today. Um, I have a theory only, so it's been years since I've had to take antibiotics of any kind, like literally years. And, um, as I had mentioned, we had strep. Well, I just finished my antibiotic on Monday. I had my last dose on Monday and now come yesterday, I woke up. So come Wednesday, I woke up with a, <clears throat> I woke up with a somewhat sore throat. I was like, man, I've already had strep twice. I don't want to have it again. Um, but my son has also been fighting some sort of upper respiratory infection, which I had also had. So to be honest with you, I don't really know exactly what it is. I don't feel like this is strep though. I do feel like it is probably um, either from the weather. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of just like weird weather. It's been extremely hot. But with it being extremely hot, it's also brought in a lot of rain. Like every single day it's rained like quite a lot. So I don't know, that's a long way of explaining that. If my voice sounds a little hoarse, it is. I don't really know what it is that's going on, but it's fine, we're fine. Um, I spent the morning, I went upstairs and tidied up the kids room, like reorganized it because for a while I was letting the kids that I was watching go upstairs like everybody was allowed to go upstairs and play in the kids room um but slowly we had to reel that back in and not let the kids go upstairs and play um but I hadn't been back up there to like tidy and organize and all that so I took some time to do that today and I also went through the kids toys because um I wanted to kind of go through and get rid of some things especially for Briar Briar had a lot of baby toys still from like when she was a baby baby that was still just like included in all their toys in their bedroom and I wanted to pull those out put some of them away that I wanted to keep and then get rid of some to donate um because her birthday is coming up and she's going to be turning two so she's going to be getting a little bit she's going to be getting more toys and things like that that are going to be more age appropriate for her and it was just time on top of the fact that I'm going to blink and it's going to now be Christmas time and I want to have that stuff already out of the way so um i spent some time doing that i've gone through the toys down here that i probably could do it again but i'll do that as it gets a little bit closer but i tidied up the living room henry's been playing with his legos and things in there briar's currently taking a nap i laid her down probably whoa, probably about an hour ago so um i tidied up in the living room i really want to wipe things down in there because it's kind of been a little while since i've actually gone through and like wiped off the countertops and things like that and um the kitchen can always have some work done um so anyways i just plan on tidying up a little bit more before my husband comes home for lunch um, and then whenever he comes home for lunch, I was thinking about, depending on if Briar's going to be up from her nap, which I would assume she probably will be, um, I was thinking about possibly taking the kids to the library or something like that. There is an excessive heat warning, um, so I don't want to take us to the park right now, just because nobody would enjoy being extremely hot running around in a park. So um, that is the game plan for now yeah that's the game plan I wanted to get on here and say hello my hair is looking extremely wild I went on a vigorous walk last night like I have been for the past few days and months and um, I need to wash my hair today but as of right now it's gonna be up in a messy ponytail so any which way happy Thursday happy August 1st pretty wild um, I'll hop back on a little bit.
Okay, so Briar never actually took a nap, so she's probably gonna try to go back down just a little bit, um, but I'm letting her get some wiggles out. But while I was trying to get things done, I should have been filming, but I, I didn't, to be honest with you. Here, let me pull this back a bit. So I ended up going through this cabinet. I should have shown you before I started so that you could see like a before and after. So basically how I have it, this toy is um, needing new batteries, so I just have it tucked away in here. And then this is another project of Henry's. This is like a school scrapbook type situation, so I just have it tucked in here. These are those like, I don't know, like mini brands. They're not mini brands though. They're just like miniature things that my cousin gave to Henry. And then the snorkel, it's just like the kid stuff. Oh, let's get back. Here, let me see. And then I have books and stickers and like coins is in that mug and just like pieces and parts to things. And then this is my like nail thing. This is, I always just like do my nails while we're watching TV or whatever. So um, I just keep them down here. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. So I went through that and then it was like, you give a pig a pancake. And um, so then all the winter gear that I pulled out, which there was like tons. I mean, it was invading both of these two shelves um of like gloves for the kids and um me and rob and then like hats and scarves and just like all the winter gear that we usually need during the winter season i pulled those all out and i actually put them upstairs i categorized them in just like giant ziploc bags and then put them up in the closet which i'll show you in just a minute but i wanted to hop on and show you that so that whenever i show you the closet that i'm currently working on it all kind of makes sense so she's found a bunch of goodies up here. I'm gonna get her out of here and finish putting a few things in there and then I will jump back on in a second. Okay, hello, it is now Saturday. So I wanted to hop on to, for one, sign off, but I wanted to update you as to what's been going on and why there's been such a gap between filming. And basically I found out, I had mentioned throughout the vlog that I was noticing my throat was hurting again so um but i also had like drainage and just like other things going on well anyways i found out that i do in fact have strep again for the third time now y'all crazy crazy so i got new medication for that that's supposed to be stronger and supposed to help so fingers crossed pray for me but um so that happened and i really wasn't feeling very good before that uh or like for the past few days i really wasn't feeling good earlier and i really really wasn't feeling good last night so um, I just spent the day, like, last night I went to bed probably at, like, 7 o'clock and just laid in bed and just watched TV and just tried to rest. Um, and then today we had, like, soccer to go to for our son and things like that, like, just small things. Um, but I was just really, I've just been feeling, like, super run down um, off and on throughout the day. But I do feel like the medication that I got, it's supposed to be super strong because this is my third time dealing with it. And I do feel like it is helping already. Um, and I've only, this I just took the third dose. So you're supposed to take it twice a day. So, um, so yeah, all things on the up and up, hopefully. But um, yesterday, before we came home and I rested, we ended up going to the um, Half Price Bookstore. And I ended up getting a couple of books. One, I, the first one I got was Anne of Green Gables because I've never read it and I've heard all the amazing things about that book and I heard it's just an easy read it's good for all ages that kind of a thing so really excited about that because I've never read it and I've heard good things and then I also picked up this book which I'm about to sit down and try to read which I know it's backwards but it says it's called Back in the Burbs by Tracy Wolf and um it just looked summary basically I I haven't read a book in so long I think the last time I was trying to get into a book and I did and I really enjoyed it it was probably I guess 2022 late 2022 maybe early 2023 um and I really enjoyed it and so I was like I'm gonna just dive back in so I got this one it looks kind of summery it's still the summer it's August 4th now is that right man it's gone by super fast so um so anyways I was like oh it's kind of a good summer read and then as it gets closer to fall, I want to read Anne of Green Gables because I'm pretty sure I've heard that it's kind of a more like fall feel. 
So that is kind of the deal. So I just laid Briar down for bed. Um, Henry and Rob are both in the field. They are just like throwing back and forth the ball with their mitts and things like that because Henry's in t-ball. So they're just doing that and taking the dog out and stuff like that. So I'm going to sign off and start this book. And whenever I do another video, I will update you on how I feel about it because I just picked one. I don't really know anything about the author or the storyline or anything like that, but um, I just thought it was kind of, it looked like a fun book. So anyway, way, thanks for hanging out with me. I know it was kind of a strung out vlog, but um, it happens that way, you know. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.